Hello students, welcome back to my chemistry lecture on thermodynamics. Thermo dynamics, thermodynamics. So thermodynamics, the topic I would like to discuss here is that lattice enthalpy, lattice enthalpy change, lattice enthalpy change, delta lattice enthalpy change i would like to discuss here and uh, and also uh, lattice enthalpy change can be measured by using indirect method is said to be born haber born haber cycle so which is indirect method of measuring the lattice enthalpy change so why we go for this why we construct born have a cycle for measuring a plant lattice enthalpy so lattice enthalpy change for any components cannot be measured directly or experimentally so it can be measured by using or by constructing born have a cycle we say so how we can measure the lattice enthalpy change by using born have a cycle so let us discuss by taking example of sodium chloride sodium chloride nacl crystal solid nacl sodium chloride crystal we say and here let me define what is lattice enthalpy change what is lattice enthalpy change the energy change that takes place during breakdown of one mole of lattice crystal to gaseous ions cations and anions gases ions the energy change associated with the conversion of one mole of lattice crystal to free ions that energy change is said to be delta lattice h so which is uh, uh, equivalent to 2 for the nacl sodium chloride plus 788 kilo joules per mole which is endothermic so why this value is very high because in sodium chloride the type of bonds are electrovalent bonds which is which are said to be ionic bonds so the ionic bonds are very stronger in uh, lattice lattice crystals because ionic bonds are due to electrostatic interactions between electrostatic forces between the ions so in order to break electrostatic uh, forces between the oppositely ions so energy required is more which is positive but if you write this equation reverse sodium ion gases ion one mole required to combine with the uh, Cl minus ion gases ion to form one mole of sodium chloride solid formation. So then lattice formation enthalpy formation is minus 788 kilo joules per mole. So, but how we get this value? plus 788 kilojoules per mole let us uh, by using born haber cycle born haber cycle so now i am going to discuss about born haber cycle is the method of measuring lattice energy change lattice enthalpy change so by 
indirect method indirect method of measuring lattice lattice enthalpy change where lattice enthalpy change cannot be measured directly or experimentally not possible all the time so now so how this born haber cycle can be constructed for na cl sodium chloride formation crystal formation sodium chloride crystal formation as you know that for the formation of sodium chloride the sodium solid combined with the of cl2 to form one mole of nacl for this the sodium must be taken in solid form elemental form it must be converted into sodium plus sorry sodium gases atom hello hello students welcome back to my chemistry lecture on thermodynamics and uh, in this video i am going to discuss about uh, so lattice enthalpy lattice enthalpy change delta lattice enthalpy change so what is mean by lattice enthalpy change in, in my previous lecture i was talking about uh, enthalpy of atomization bond dissociation enthalpy so lattice enthalpy change is applicable to ionic crystals ionic crystals or ionic compounds since ionic compounds exist in the form of lattice crystals lattice crystals so where ionic lattice crystals are made with ions which are held by electrostatic uh, electrostatic force of attractions force of attractions in uh, ionic crystals we could see we will find out electrostatic force of attractions due to that lattice energy will be more so most of the lattice crystals have lattice enthalpy changes are more because of this electrostatic strong force of strong electrostatic force of attractions what is the lattice enthalpy change lattice enthalpy change can be defined as so energy changes energy changes that takes place energy changes that takes place formation of formation of crystals lattice crystals or breakdown of breaking of breaking of lattice crystals lattice crystal if we go for more specification so for breaking of one mole of one mole of lattice crystal lattice crystal into gaseous free atoms free atoms gases free atoms 
sorry ions gas is free ions cation and uh, anion gas is free ions the energy changes associated either absorption 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 and releasing or releasing energy that changes what we call means lattice enthalpy change for example for example if you take NaCl in the form of a solid for breaking off into Na plus gas Cl minus gas lattice enthalpy change will be plus 788 kilo joules per mole for the conversion of solid crystal into their respective gases ions energy is required plus 788 kilo joules per mole means the amount of energy required amount of amount of energy required for breaking of for breaking of breaking of ionic bonds amount of energy required for breaking of ionic bonds in lattice crystal one mole of lattice crystal so that energy change is said to be what we call lattice enthalpy change we say so for making of the bonds and for the breaking of the bonds so in both cases energy changes takes place in case of lattice crystals this enthalpy change during the breakdown and for the formation of this so uh, crystal can be measured by using by constructing bohr haber cycle bohr haber cycle we say the bohr haber cycle is the so indirect method of measuring the enthalpy changes lattice enthalpy changes for the lattice crystals so which is uh, not experimental this is not experimental so uh, means by using bond haber cycle we can uh, determine the lattice enthalpy change from the existing values standard enthalpy formation values so how the born haber cycle can be constructed for sodium chloride formation we'll discuss now as you know that sodium chloride is ionic compound it is formed from sodium plus chloride chlorine gas to form NaCl one more of NaCl solid but in order to make this NaCl the sodium is uh, initially the sodium is required elemental form sodium solid form so but the sodium in solid form cannot react directly it can be converted into sodium so gases sodium conversion of solid to gases sodium is said to be what we call means enthalpy of sublimation for the sodium is uh, equal to how much 108 kilo joules per mole where we are converting elemental form of o. so elemental elemental form of sodium to gases form 
gaseous in atomic form we are so converting into for this energy required is 108 again for the conversion of sodium gas sodium atom to ion sodium plus ion if you want to remove one electron from this to make uh, sodium ion cat sodium cation so gases uh, cation then it is said to be enthalpy of ionization process which is uh, required 498 kilo joules per mole energy required so this is also positive value now sodium is converted into ion and which is ready for the ready for so the for the reaction with the chlorine but at this time the chlorine must be available in the form of chlorine uh, must be available in the form of ion then uh, in order to make the sodium ion to react with the chloride but chloride chlorine generally we take half cl2 chlorine exists in the form of diatomic condition if you want to make the chlorine molecule into chlorine atom so gaseous atom for this so uh, bond dissociation enthalpy cl and cl so will be equal to 121 kilo joules per mole energy required But the chlorine atomic form doesn't react with the sodium ion. The chlorine gases atom require electron from the sodium so ion sodium atom. Then it becomes into Cl minus gases Cl minus chloride ion, which is said to be electron gain enthalpy enthalpy change. So then uh, delta electron gain enthalpy change will be Cl minus formation will be how much it is uh, 3 minus value 348 kilo joules per mole. But uh, for the so formation of uh, sodium solid uh, and uh, of cl2 for the formation of sodium uh, chloride one mole of sodium chloride solid uh, so uh, uh, delta so enthalpy standard enthalpy formation of uh, sodium is equal to how much uh, minus 411 kilo joules per mole so energy for one mole of the sodium chloride formation now so if you sum up all the changes that takes place for the formation of NaCl and if you sum up all the values then we can uh, get so uh, lattice enthalpy change lattice uh, lattice enthalpy change for the sodium chloride is equal to so 411 plus so 108 Sub enthalpy of sublimation I am adding so 121 so 498 ionization enthalpy ionization enthalpy so and uh, sorry here is uh, minus 348 uh, kilojoules per mole see by sum of these all these uh, values enthalpy formation so enthalpy of sublimation bond dissociation enthalpy chlorine and uh, ionization enthalpy of uh, uh, sodium and uh, minus 348 electron gain enthalpy of the chlorine if i sum up all the values then lattice uh, enthalpy change will be positive 788 uh, kilo joules per mole I will get so in this born habit cycle
sodium chloride solid break down into Na plus Cl minus. So for breaking of this lattice enthalpy change will be lattice enthalpy change will be plus 788 kilojoules per mole. And uh, for the formation of sodium ion and Cl minus ion for the formation of this sodium chloride. So lattice enthalpy for lattice enthalpy will be lattice enthalpy will be how much uh, this is equal to minus 788 uh, kilojoules per mole. OK, so for the formation is minus and for the the in during this bond haber cycle the net change net change net change is equal to zero that means for the formation of NaCl breakdown into Na plus Cl minus and uh, Na plus and uh, Cl So net change equal to zero we can write. So by summing up all the enthalpy changes, summing up all the enthalpy changes, so we can measure, we can measure lattice, enthalpy change of the crystal any crystal we can find out thank you